Oh, welcome back to Empire Total War, Poland Lithuania. On the last video, I said that I might contemplate a battle against Courland. Um, if you remember, what I'd done was um, isolated his troops in the town, and I was attacking his ones just outside the town. Um, if you look on the top map there, I was lined up here to begin with. My reinforcements came on over there, so I've moved all the way around. My idea is to fashion a line facing this way, which I've done on purpose because... Um, his artillery are in placements and they're all facing um, from left to right of screen at the moment. Also, you can see his original defensive positions because of these um, uh, Chevy de Free. They're all down here to um, to deflect, detract, or rather, I don't know, um, spike my uh, my artillery, not my artillery, sorry, my cavalry. I've only got um, generals really on horse anyway, so it shouldn't make too much of a difference to me because I certainly won't be going in with those to drive against his guns. And as you can see, his guns are facing not only completely the wrong way, oh well, facing in the, the right way for where I was originally, he'd have had to have battered down the building first to be able to shoot at me anyway, so I might have been okay, you know, coming square on. I wanted to show this battle. There'll be a few against Corland, I'm sure, um, but um, I wanted to show this because I wanted to show the benefits of the rank firing system. My troops aren't very interesting. I've got one general. Other than that, I've got my regular line infantry. Wonderful Polish lads, of course. But anyhow, let's have a look over here, um, and we should be able to see where are we, what his troops look like. They might look a little bit prettier than mine, so let's have a look at those. I don't know, really, because when you're fighting a battle, you don't have too much time to look at things, do you? You're more interested, really, in where your troop movements are. So I've got this on fast speed, like I say, so they'll be, you know, shooting about all over the place at the moment. Who've we got over there? There's his general. Well, to be honest, I don't think there's much to show, is there? I don't think his troops are any better looking than mine, are they, really? So, OK, let's get this on normal speed then, shall we? And then, hmm, perhaps, I don't know if I'm in position yet. Let's have a look, see if we're anywhere near position. I don't think we are yet, to be honest. Almost there. We just need to creep up. The idea was to get my main army aligned with my reinforcing army, and then we could advance, slowly but surely, on the um, uh, on the enemy artillery, which is facing the wrong way. Hopefully to clear those out of the way, and then we could work on the rest of his army piecemeal, because he's bound to be sort of scattered amongst the buildings or um, along the side of them. So we've caught him out, um, really outflanked him. He's done the best that he can, of course. We can see that he's got um, uh, cavalry on the on the flank here, um, obviously to keep them away from his own chevy de free as well, but um, you'll soon see how effective my um, musketry are now. This is going to make such a difference to the game, it really is. So are we anywhere near yet? We're still on super fast speed. Oh. Obviously, this is the point in the game when I was thinking about what I was going to do, maybe. Hmm. Maybe I'm bringing the general up. For some reason, we're standing around. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Maybe I was having a look at his positions, just to see if my assault was going to be successful, and working out where his main troops were going to be. Here we go. So I've decided to send these two forward. I'd forgotten I'd sent these two forward at first. I think my idea was that I could anchor the flank of these on the um, on the buildings here uh, and to feint slightly on this flank here, you know, to pull back slightly on this flank here because this is the flank that his horse were on. So I thought I might be able to get some kind of a, um, you know, a sort of faint line across there. Um, okay. I don't think we're quite ready. I don't think we're quite meeting his artillery yet. So that was the idea. Creep forward, have a look over, see what's happening. Is he changing his line? Is he moving away from position? Is he going to flank anywhere? These are the kind of things that I'm looking for at the moment on the battlefield, and I can't see that any of those things are happening. He's just basically formed a line, hasn't he? Now his line now, of course, is far inferior to mine, because um, I can fire... I've got rank firing, which means that I can... I have three times more firing than he's got, you know, so the front rank fire, second and then third, so we're killing three times as many men as him. So it doesn't matter if we're better shots or worse shots, we're still um, having three times the number of shots that he's having. So, so we're still a distance away, we're still not into position. Ah, I remember one of the problems. It was um, because of this building here and various other buildings, I had a problem... Um, drawing my line directly across because various terrain pieces um, affected um, my line so I was having to sort of advance beyond a certain place. You'll probably see here, you see where it becomes diffracted here? Just there. Well you can't 
you know, drag your line across there to where you want it to be because that building gets in the way. So it was a case of judging how far forward I needed to be in order to get that line to be solid. But I'm sure we must be in position very soon, so let's have a look and see what happens. Um, yeah, there we go. Let's have a look at some of this rank firing, shall we? Oh, I've missed a bit, that's a shame. Hmm, that didn't look as impressive as I thought, really. I was expecting rather better than that. OK, what's supposed to happen? I have a feeling, you know, that the second rank is out of range or something and that's why they can't fire. Because really we should be firing all of these now. So, there's the... Top right, right, there you go, first rank there. Now they should... What we call harrow. Which means that they should duck down. Oh, why isn't it working? Ah. Oh. Now I thought I had rank firing, but it doesn't look like I've got rank fire there at all. So that's a shame. I was hoping to impress you with uh, some wonderful rank fire, but um, it's not going to happen, is it? Um, it's a shame. I could have swore I saw it happen in the battle. And I know we've got rank firing as an ability now, so they should certainly be rank firing. Hmm. That's strange. I wonder if it's just because we're, we're simply not close enough. See, the, the second rank is doing nothing at all, is it? Um, it's probably why we're having such poor effect as well at this stage in the game. Um, hmm. 54 out of 90. I think maybe at this stage I'm just trying to clear those horse away. Um, He's obviously brought the horse to uh, defend his artillery. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit because um, all you're going to see there is just me continually firing until the uh, the horse gets out of the way, speed it up even more. Um, I think maybe I'm at extreme range and that's the problem. The second rank can't even reach from where they are currently standing. You'll see now that I'm bringing my troops round here because he brought his horse over to... See, they're not horses as well, are they? No, they're not. Because he brought his horse over to protect his artillery, that meant I felt much more secure about my flank over here and started to bring that round. So, let's see what happens over here when we get these into position. Got to be very careful here. You see the problem with the buildings there? Right, we're still on fast speed. I'm not going to show the whole of this battle, I just want to show how it went. I don't know what they are. They're the, they'll be that horse, I suppose. Yes, they are. In the background there, that's flashing. Okay. Right, so you can see I'm pulling around the flank there. Um, we should be creeping around this side soon as well. And um, um, we'll end up getting more of a U-shape around here as well. Sort of gradually closing the grip on this encirclement, really. Well, let's have a look and see how we fire over here now. See if we're getting some good rank firing over here. Come on. Right. Now. Yes, that's more like it. Second rank. Ah. No, they're all loading now. I think all three ranks have just fired. Let's watch them. Watch them again. Here we go. First rank. First rank fire. First rank, harrow. Second rank, fire. Third rank, fire. And there we go again. Now these on the ground here ought to be loading. Well, they don't seem to be. Some of them are, aren't they? Oh yes, he's loading. See? They've been trained. This is what the rank fire is all about. They've been trained to load. So it was um, kneeling down. And here we go again. Now, just to see the decimating effect that that's having on the enemy, let's have a look over here and see those that are facing me. Uh, they're facing three units as well, of course, so they don't really have much of a chance. Of course, his right flank, once this is gone, he's very exposed to a complete encirclement. He's already lost around about half his men, 230, yeah, 260, yeah, uh, just, he's lost just under half his men. He's going to lose quite a few more. You see the difference in firing, of course. This is the, advan the, this is the advantage that the rank firing gives us. Um, very surprised, actually, that he's, uh, he's firing this third rank at all. It's normally just the first rank that fires, isn't it? 
It says tired there. <laughs> tired, yeah. Tired of losing, I would imagine. Uh, 104, 225. Yeah, so they're, they're down to about half strength now. Let's go have a look at what's going on over here. Oh, by the way, as a matter of interest, if you look over here, look at the number of casualties we've taken. Um, oh, I can hardly see any. That unit there, 280, 217, uh, 225. They've lost some. Not many. Look over here at these chaps. And there you go, they've just left a carpet of bodies around there, haven't they? So, um, much more effective. And I can start bringing those around now, now that he's gone. Obviously he's only broken, more than likely broken. So he could come back. Oh no, it's shattered though, so we're quite safe from those. The guns should have gone now, of course. There you go. Now the guns cleared out of the way. Next, it's just a case of marching up even closer. Taking care to watch for anything that might come round this way. I, I, that's the general's bodyguard, of course. So uh, the idea will be to anchor this unit here on the building. But it's not too much of a worry for us because we can always form a square formation now as well. We do have that facility, and uh, we've got the Chevrolet de Free over here as well to defend us from the horse. So um, we, we're. It's a pretty secure situation for us, so even though his horse is round there, I have no worries whatsoever, and I've got no artillery at the back to defend either, so I can simply put all of these in square formation should he decide to come and attack me. Now, we ought to be in a position now. Oh, we've had first rank fire of these. You know, the second rank, maybe? There's a second rank. And I think we're still owed a rank. Come on, chaps. Uh Yep. Third rank. Got that wrong, by the way. Harrow is for the firing rank. So you kneel and harrow. So the first rank will fire and kneel. Second rank will harrow. Second rank will kneel. Third rank will harrow and fire. Yeah? So basically, sorry, I think I missed a fire out there. But basically, harrowing means that you are sort of leaning over the, uh, the person in front. That's all that means. So you're clearing that person's head. So anyway, there you go. Um, I can't see him doing very much. We completely surrounded him. Some got off the field, um, but um, that's not too much of a headache for us. And you'll see from the results in the end um, what an incredibly successful encounter that was. The main thing is to go in against um, uh, enemy units that are uh, principally um, uh, musket units. If you go against combat, you know, sort of hand-to-hand -hand combat troops, it can cause a bit of a problem. He's got some pikemen there, of course, uh, but You'd find out if I left this on, that out of the few units that he's got left there, anything that comes charging in against us while we're building up these chevrons as well at the same time, is simply going to get blown away. So, anyway, there's not much point in showing any more of that battle. I think it's quite clear that we're murdering him. But no more interesting troops to look at, because it's just the rank firing I wanted to show you, really. Well, as you can see, I decided to go for this uh, battle. Um, because you'll have just seen it. <laughs> I've just recorded it now, so um, I'll be putting it on just before I put this little bit of footage on there. Um, I had said at the end of the previous video that I wasn't sure what I'd do with regard to Corlin because they're blocking my trade route. Um, I did decide to go for them. I went over to um, to their town, their main town, wherever that is, lost 107 um, and killed 1,171. They're pretty darn good, these boys, aren't they? Um, so. Um, here we are now, outside their, their main city. I don't think they can move any... Oh, hang on a minute. These. I wonder, actually, if I need to clear those out first. They're not going to have very much in there, I don't suspect. But um, it might be an idea to um, first... Oh, by the way, I put a general with them, uh, these ones down here that came from here. Do you remember I said we were going to bring them from here? and bring them from here. Well, straight after doing that, I just carried on playing the video and so um, uh, fought the battle. So, um, might be an idea, I would think, to get rid of those as well so they don't come on as reinforcements. I don't know what he's going to have in here, but it does look like he's got a decent sized force, doesn't it? So, might be an idea for me to siege that. Yeah. Hmm. Can I demand surrender? They're not going to take surrender, are they? No. Okay, so let's continue siege with that. But you see how these come on as reinforcements. He's got 410 there. Well, I've got 800 and something here in my reinforcing armies, so I, I could just attack them with my reinforcing armies, couldn't I? 
Um, okay, he's got some horse. Maybe I should put a general with the others as well. Not too sure, really, but I think it's probably an idea to, to wipe those out and get rid of them. Um, then I can take these afterwards. They're garrison forces, so they're not very good. 30 and 4 melee attack. Uh, sorry, 110 range and 30, um, you know, shooting accuracy. So it's not good, is it, really? Okay, the range is the same, but 30. And then, of course, their melee is 4, 13 and 5. Um, and mine's 6, 13 and 7, so we, we, we're noticeably better than him. There's only this to deal with, really. He's got some militia in there as well, which are even worse. So I think... Um, what's that? 8, 10 and 7. And they're on 35. 8, 10 and 7. Um, 6, 13 and 7. So, OK, they're better, but they're not as good. Uh, anyway, they're, they're his best troops, so I don't think I'm going to have too much to worry about really taking those on. I think it might be an idea to get these out of the way first. He's got in total 2,400. I've got in total about, what would that be, about 15,000 or something like that. 1,500, sorry. <laughs> so we are at a disadvantage. So if I keep up the, um, uh, the siege, continue the siege there, and then I take these out here with my, um, hmm, with these forces... I think they should still be able to come on and help there afterwards. Might be an idea for me to have a general in here as well, though. You see, this neutralises those, so I don't have any problem with those. It's just these, then, that I need to take on. Um, I wonder if it's worth me adding a general to them. How much is it going to cost me? 1,290. But they don't cost anything in running costs after that, so I think it might be worth it just for me to have a general on the field. Let's do that. OK. So add a general to those, and then uh, attack these here. And we should still be on the road, so we should still be able to um, come in to, to help those out, shouldn't we? So, okay, that's good. 864 against 410. We've already beaten a force like this, um, so it shouldn't be too much of a bother for us to do that again, should it? I'll not be showing this battle, because um, I th you've only just seen one very similar to it. Well, that's um, 15 lost. 382 killed. These boys are the business. I don't think I needed the uh, general in there at all, really, did I? Uh, I don't know if they can come out now. Oh, they can. Look at that. They can come out and attack. Huh. Do we now go all the way out and add to the siege? Demand surrender? Refused. No surprise there. Now, big question. Do we siege? Do we attack? Bearing in mind we're so much better than him. I think it's 1,500 against 2,400. He's got no reinforcements coming on. These are just garrison troops. The only thing he's got that's any threat to me, really, is this, the mortar. I think, to be honest, I'm just going to go in there and take it from him. Because um, that will take his ships then away from my port. means my trade will be back. And I'll have taken this place as well, which is Corland. And I'll have a decent army in there then to be able to hold off anything that might, might come at me, say, from Sweden. I know Sweden are going to be unhappy with me. They're bound to be. And I ex fully expect them to come and attack me. But hey-ho, let's see what happens. Might have a problem with Russia now as well. Because Russia might want that Corland area as well. But I can't see now how two, four, six, seven, eight units of foot are going to fight off my seven units of foot, even though I've taken hits on them. Um, and these units are bigger, actually. They're um, garrison line infantry. There's 338 of those, but mm, I still can't see them doing it. If they can only fire the front rank, I think this is it. I think I'll just take it. It's going to be like the battle that you've already seen that I've recorded for you. Um, so there's no point in you watching this. But um, anyway, I will show you the results and I think that would then really be the end of this video. OK, here are the results and I know it doesn't look good, but he had a fortification. I hadn't noticed. So, uh, excuse me, I had to throw away a lot of troops attacking one wall as a diversion so my other troops could get over another one and then occupy the centre and shoot him as he came down the walls um, to attack me from the inside. So lost a heck of a lot of men here. Um, one lot lost against Philoc Armed Citizenry, fighting them hand to hand, so that wasn't very good either, was it? Climbing up the walls and fighting obviously makes it a lot more difficult. So lost a lot, like I said. But, uh, some of them did well, others problems, but anyhow, there we go. Just hope I've got enough men left to hold the place, that's the thing. Okay, place is mine. How unhappy is that? It's only minus one. Ha! Oh, 
Wow, I expected it to be a heck of a lot worse than that. So, in we go. And we're straight as well. Oh, excellent. That's brilliant. Region captured. Nation destroyed. That's Courland. Trait gained. Trait gained. Trait gained. Trait gained. Right. I think I'd better repair that, haven't I? Okay, well, I think that's probably about it. I don't think they've got any universities in there, have they? It's probably why Courland couldn't um, negotiate with me at the time. But um, I think I'm going to have to repair that as well and replenish the army. Yep, okay. Recruitment I can't do yet, but I will be able to recruit mm, line infantry. And as you know, I do like my line infantry, there's no doubt about it. I wonder if there's anything that's going to be a threat to here, though. This looks like the most exposed place now, doesn't it? So, anyhow, that's perhaps for another video now, I would think. How much does that make, anyway? 416. 558, even while damaged. Excellent stuff. Um, I could do with just checking diplomacy at the moment, finding out how happy the Swedes are with me. Sweden is indifferent. Excellent. In fact, they're even trading with me. I didn't realise that. So that should be the trade route clear as well now. Where are we? Yes. All the calling ships gone. And next turn, we'll have our port, won't we? So, uh, anyway, I'm not sure how much there is for that video because it's a bit bitty, what with um, recording a, a battle and doing all of that. So I, I think um, maybe this should be turned into another video now and we'll see where we go from there. But, on the other hand, now I know I've got about nine minutes left before finishing my 30. <laughs> Just checked it out. Um, might be a bit, because I've got my video program in the background, it might sort of be a little bit laggy, but I'm hoping all I need to do is just um, buy a few extra troops down the south, because... Um, that was my main concern now, wasn't it? You know, these sort of Austrian, not Austrian, sorry, Ottomans ganging up on me a bit. So I'm going to, um, I, I'm a bit disappointed, you see. I was expecting that um, uh, that the Ottomans would be um, disappearing from the game quite soon because I thought that they were, um, well, I mean, basically I, I thought that they were um, bankrupt. So I thought they couldn't recruit any more troops. So anyway, um, I can't afford any more in there. Um, haven't got any decent line infantry either, and he's got some rather large um, uh, armies around. Let's just hope the Austrians do something for me. But I'm hoping I can fit in a turn end. That's the main thing. Um, I don't. I just don't understand it. If he's been bankrupt for so long, why on earth has he got such large armies coming around? I know they they seem okay, but they're bankrupt. So I'm confused. Maybe he's just warning of bankruptcy rather than them actually being bankrupt. I really don't know, but. Um, Anyhow, uh, let's see what the turn end brings on in these few minutes that I've got remaining. Yeah, I, because I did the... Um, uh, I, I recorded the battle as a replay battle, then obviously I'd played on, so I had to play that bit and then record the battle, and it wasn't until I'd done all of that that I realised that I had space left at the end of the video. So, let's speed this up a bit. I don't know why the Austrians aren't being far more successful against the Ottomans uh, than than they are. Here they are now. This is my main. What you see, I've left it very sparse down at the bottom there. Some areas without any armies in there at all. Oh, and he's going for it as well, isn't he? Oh, damn. And that is poorly defended. Um. What have I got in there? 1,000... I think I've got 1,600 against 1,300, but his troops are one heck of a lot better than mine. These look like they might be melee infantry troops as well, and he's got chevrons as well in there. 110, accuracy 30. And I've got 110, accuracy 25, not good. 494 on close combat as well. He's got 8, 12, 5, so he's going to be one heck of a lot better. What are these as well? These are melee attack infantry, aren't they? So. I think he's going to outdo me on that one, isn't he, really? Um, have I got any defences at all? I'm really not sure. I should have some Chevrolet free, but how's that going to help against these? I, I can't see it, to be honest with you. But Anyway, I'm going to go off and fight it and then show you the results. It's a small battle, and we've seen a few battles recently, so um, let's see how we go. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. It's these that are totally rubbish, isn't it, really? Mind you, the four, five, four, what are those? These are garrison as well, four, nine. That's why they're rubbish. Garrison. They're militia. So, really, I've only got three units in there, haven't I? Just got those three units. Damn. Okay, I'll go off and fight it and show you the result. Well, 
Well, there you can see the results. And I'll tell you what, that battle does not reflect how hard it was, really. I mean, look at that. Um, it looked like a brilliant, successful result for me, but I ran out of ammunition. It was dreadful. It really was. Killed loads of that line infantry, but of course, running out of ammunition. They're the only ones that have got the rank fire, the line infantry. So if anything else attacks me, I think I've had it. Um, the good news is I don't think he got away with very much. Uh, but he has got some other larger... Oh, here we go. Well, that looks well in my favour, doesn't it? I can't see why it is, though. I have no regular infantry at all. I've got lots of pikemen. 9, 3, 13, 6. Um, uh, 8, 12, 5. So they're better than those. The, their melee is better than all of them, I think. Um, do you know, the others seem to outrange me somehow. You see that 120? Even though I put them behind a trench system, you know, because I was entitled to that, he outranged me, which is a damn nuisance. You see, they just stand back and fire. But there aren't many of them. Ah, 40 and 50. That's why. 682 against nearly a 1,000 men. That's what it's all about. What's that? That's a general, isn't it? But I, too, have a general's bodyguard and two lots of horse. Yeah, one of the reasons why I won the last battle as well was I ran my horse around him. Um, he sent one of his infantry units trying to um, sort of at least protect the flank, and it sort of put them out of the battle for a little while, while I went all the way around the back and took out both of his guns. On this occasion, he's only got one gun, but I think we should be able to win this one, don't you? Um, depends what these are. Right, they're proper regiments, so they'll have bayonets. These here are also militia, they're good. I don't seem to have any garrison stuff, do I? These are all, I think. That's strange, isn't it? I don't seem to have any garrison troops at all in there. Anyway, I'll get on and fight it and show you the result. Damn, I thought it was only a few minutes to add to the end of the, the video. What a nuisance. Anyway, I'll show you the result. Well, in that one, we were saved by the arrival of two units of Austrian regulars. So, that wasn't bad, was it? It was all a bit of a mess, though, I'm afraid. Look at that. Kills 112, lost 89. I threw the pikeman in, so... Uh, oh, wow. Completely wiped him out. That's excellent. Oh, good. And that's the whole of the Ottoman threat over with. Thank goodness for that. I've left that very sparse, that area, for the whole of the time, so the Ottomans could have really completely overpowered me there. Um, I, I fell for that bankruptcy thing. I'm not quite sure what that means, really, that bankruptcy. Perhaps somebody could help me out with that one. But anyway, I'm nearly 28 minutes now on this video, so... Uh, I think this is going to be the end of the recording on this, when this turn ends. Let's hope the Swedes are going to keep away from me. They're not too unhappy with the mauling that I've just given to the uh, Callenders. In fact, a bit more of a mauling, isn't it? I've decimated them. In fact, more than decimated them. Decimated is one in ten, isn't it, according to the Romans? To destroy one in ten or something. So, <laughs> what I've done is eliminated them. Hmm. I seem to have been um, fairly good at... Um, well, I seem to have found myself in a position where I can easily wipe out anybody who attacks me at the moment, haven't I? You know, so... Um, I've been pretty efficient. <laughs> it's just completely slaughtering anybody that's attacked me, isn't it? You know, Prussia had a go, so boom, end of Prussia. Colin had a go, so boom, end of Colin. <laughs> uh, Turkey's had a go now, so maybe this should now be the end of Turkey, but I do want to... Hey, what's that? Ah, aha. Now that must be because I only had garrison troops in there. Yeah, they're all garrison. I didn't have an army in there to... Uh, Oh, look. Um, hmm. Does that mean, though, that he hasn't got enough men to attack me? Is that what it is? Because they are... Um, what's the word? They, they have been affected, haven't they? So, and there's only three units there. I've got four units in there. Um, is that line infantry? Got <laughs> I get line infantry as well on uh, an, in a garrison. Oh, wow, that's got to be good, isn't it? Um, hmm. Maybe the horse could get there. No, not even the horse can get there to rescue them. Can I send any from here? I think I probably can, you know. Oh, I can. Oh, he's dead, isn't he? There's no way they're going to survive there. Well, there was one that I raised two... Tri oh, yeah, it was the other one, wasn't it, over there? So I think I might be fairly safe there now. Ah, running out of time. Fairly safe there to, um, to recruit some more. 
and also to get some troops over. Well, let's do these first. Recruitment report. Thank you very much. Yes, they're the ones I wanted. Uh, city besieged. We know about that. We've just seen it. And construction report. Oh, yes. Look at that. Commercial port as well. Oh, wow. That's excellent. That's brilliant news. And technological advances. Great. So we now have carbines so I can get some dragoons. We've got the... Uh, oh, I don't want wedge formation. Government by consent and whatever. I'll have to have a look at that. Trait gained. Yeah, have a look at that if you wish. Um, oh, and it's 30 minutes. I could have just done with sorting out the technology. Um, mm, that's nearly there. I don't think I want that. No, I'm going to have to have some thinking time, aren't I? Because um, I can't do that in seconds. I have to have a think about that. Okay, so second video tonight. Uh, wow, things are getting back to normal again.